Hey, what's going on guys, Starbreaker right here, back on another video. And this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the masking transition that you saw in the intro and on my recent montage. So the first thing you wanna do is drag your two cinematics into your composition right here. So I got my two that I recorded earlier. In the cinematic that you want the mask to be, so this one, it's gonna go from this cinematic into this one right here. You want this one to be on top. So I'm just gonna go right click this, time, time remapping, and I'll time remap this a little bit. I kind of want the cinematic to start right here too, so I'll cut that right there. So I'm just doing time wrapping right now, just what I always do, just simple time wrapping, just like that. I'm going to do the same thing with this clip. Okay, so once you've timed it up, your two clips. What you want to do is go on to this clip right here where you want the mask and click on the pen tool right here. So what you want to do is click on each corner of where you want the mask to be. So I'm going to put one right here, 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 and here, and then close that up. And then you want to click on this arrow right here, masks, mask one, and instead of add, just click on none for now. And then you want to go back to your selection tool and just readjust them if you have to. Just like that. And then you want to click on masks right here and then mask path. You just want to click on the stopwatch so you can keyframe it there. And then you want to just go, you can motion track this in After Effects, but it just doesn't look as good. It's honestly easier just to do it manually. So what I want to do is go a few frames forward maybe and just kind of mess with the, just resize it to fit the corners. Just like that. And I'll see you guys when I'm done with this. Okay, so I'm done masking this out and I could have spent more time on this, but it's just a tutorial, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. And once you have this all masked out and tracked manually, you wanna go on to right here where it says none. I'm gonna click subtract. So it can looks like this. And then you can keep like that if you want. I'm going to be showing you a couple extra things like Saber and one other thing. So you can click on your second cinematic, press S, and then set the scale to 140. And just keyframe that here and go a few frames forward and set to 100. Let's move this back a little bit, just like that. Maybe a little bit further. Like that. So you can leave it like that if you want, but I'm gonna be adding saber. So it's that like little glow outline around the mask. So what you wanna do is duplicate your mask layer and then search up saber. Now this is a plugin that you will have to install, but you can just get it for free on YouTube. Just search up saber after effects free download or something, that's what I did. You just want to drag that on to the layer you just duplicated. And it will look like this. So what you have to do is go to customize core, core type, layer masks. So it should look like this after that. And then you want to go under render settings and change it from black to transparent. Now you could just keep at that if you want to, but there are a bunch of presets that you can use that Saber comes with here, or you can just change it to however you like it and make your own. 
for this kind of transition, I like to use Ghost and then make the color white. It's just nice and clean like that. So thanks for watching. Let me know what other tutorials you want next, and I'll see you next video.